How is this possible? Beautiful, fully responsive dashboard coded from one prompt. But every time you try it, it looks something like this. <laughs> I can't look at this anymore. It's so ugly. Oh my God. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to make a good looking, responsive user interface for pretty much any design you would like to throw at it, but also have it powered by high quality maintainable code. I will share everything you need to reproduce this. The prompts, the workflow, the code, it's all gonna be there. Not like other YouTubers, you know who you are. Just check the link in the description to grab all of those. All right, we'll do this in three steps. Step number one is preparing the design. Step number two is making a design brief. And step number three is generating the code. Let's get into it. Now for the design, you can either use ChatGPT or Google Gemini's Nano Banana. I have been known to write those design prompts in the past if you wanna check them out here. But there's also an alternative if you're really lazy and I mean really, really lazy, we can just head over to dribble.com and grab a design from there. To keep this short, let's just do that. I'll head to dribble.com and type in fintech dashboard. We have a few good examples actually. And I think I will just pick this one here by Vectora. I think this looks pretty nice. I'm a big fan of these green accents on the grayscale UI. So let's just copy one of these and head over to ChatGPT. And now we're ready for step two, generating the design brief. Let's paste the image. And since this is based on an image, the method will actually work with pretty much any design. So regardless if you got it from a designer that made it in Photoshop, if that's still a thing, it will still work. But also if AI created an image, that will still work just fine. Now comes a bit of secret sauce. Through much experimentation, I have found that this prompt plus a JSONC design brief gives the most accurate results. C stands for comments, by the way. I use ChatGPT's image analysis model because it's really, really good, but you can also try the same with Gemini's Nano Banana. I'm using GPT 5.1 thinking, but anything above GPT 5 should be just fine. Let's skim through the prompt real quick. The first part is giving it a little bit of context about what we're building. So this is the part that you would like to change to match your app. This is also the only part that you need to change in this prompt. So the other three parts here are first asking it to output a JSONC detailed design brief, then specifying how colors should be accounted for. And finally, I'm instructing it to output a developer brief, which will just give an overview of the task at hand. And that's it. Let's submit it and see what we get. As you can see, the result is a fairly long and detailed prompt. You don't really have to read it. You can if you want. But what I'm going to do is copy paste all of this plus the brief at the end and put it in cursor. Before we jump in, I would just like to thank Sentry for sponsoring us. Head over to Sentry.io to get rid of those pesky bugs and crashes. Now in cursor, I also have a pre-made prompt explaining a little bit how this should be implemented giving it some requirements. For example, it should be responsive, support dark mode, and not use magic strings to keep the code quality up. Then I have two placeholders, one for the implementation brief, which I'm just gonna paste like so. And at the bottom here, a place to paste the JSONC design specification, which I'm also gonna do like so. And besides making sure that we have Sonnet 4.5 selected, the only thing that's left to do is to send this prompt. Oh, I'm really excited about this. All right, and without further ado, let's take a look at what it actually built. I'm just gonna head over to the browser, open up a new tab and go to localhost 6006 slash dashboard where I know there is a dev server and <laughs> you, you can't make this up. This is, this is a freaking nice dashboard. And obviously it is fully responsive. Did you see that animation with, man, D did you see? <laughs> this is wild. 
It looks modern, it looks consistent, and I'm pretty sure the code behind it is not too bad either. Let's take a quick look. As you can see, there are no hard-coded items in here. It is using primary colors. It is using a design system. So if I go, now look at this, gonna be completely nuts. But if I go and open the file called colors, and I change this main one to red, and then we go back, how about that? It is built to scale. It is, you can just theme it with one, one line. This is amazing. This is AI that actually works and not just slop. Okay, but this is too good to be true, right? Pretty sure I'm gonna go in the comments and say, hey Dan, I tried. And instead of what you got, I got this thing instead. Oh God, please, <laughs> can you just, someone delete this. I did glance over one detail. And then if you're paying attention, you've probably noticed that when I pasted the prompt in cursor, I wasn't starting from scratch. I was already in a code base. And that is actually another secret. And that is just part of this video. So before you go in the comments, angry say, no, oh, he's just lying to us. No, 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 wait a second. I'm gonna give you that code base. So you could do the exact same thing. I'm gonna give you every single line of that code base because this is the most important part that no one really tells you because AI can kind of set up things too in a very slow and in a very bad way. You can kind of start from scratch, but we've been building code bases for decades now. Like really CLI tools are really mature and I don't think you should ever start vibe coding from a blank code base. Now you can go in the comments and say, thank you, you legend, because you can just go ahead and download the code base and get the same thing. There's nothing really crazy about it. It's a setup with Tailwind, Shadsian UI, and a few configs that, for example, allow you to change the font real quick or allow you to change the color and, and so on. Big AI doesn't want you to be aware of this because they would actually rather have you bootstrap things from scratch over and over and use millions of tokens if you can, because they just make more money. So now you have a way around it. And with that, I will ask you to vibe code responsibly. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe so you make sure that I get my daily dose of dopamine. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you. This stuff is pretty cool. Like say what you want about AI, but this stuff's pretty cool. I have no choice but to go back in cursor and say, keep all. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful.